What is up, everybody? Welcome to Perspective Gaming. I'm your host, Flame078, logging in from the real world to give you perspective. It's that time of year again. Let's break down all the conferences from E3. Let's review the games, the announcements, and the news from EA Press Conference. This video is strictly about the presentation and maybe a brief opinion on certain games or news. If need be, and if y'all would like deep dives on anything, those will come in their own separate videos. So without further ado, let's get to it. What happened to it? I could tell you of the great battle centuries ago. I could tell you of the power of the darkness. There are many tales. Lately, those tales have stopped. I could tell you, I could tell you. I could tell you, but I won't. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's how I felt about this presentation. At the end, I really felt, but why? What was the point of this conference? And if I were to give an overall impression about this, it would be that it was bad. But doesn't mean that there wasn't anything good out of it. Unfortunately, even those things that stuck out, they didn't have any substance to cling to. Nothing of great importance was talked about here. And I think EA dropped the ball tremendously. I mean, we all know EA had a crappy year. So this should have been their time to shine and really reinvigorate people to trust them. Unfortunately, I don't think this presentation does that. And it just leaves us very confused. Like during the presentations, the audience barely had any reactions to it. And sometimes when they did, it felt forced. To the point that it was kind of funny that some of the speakers were like nodding their way to like, Hello, you can clap now, please. Please clap. <laughs> I mean, well, not exactly that depressing, but it was very awkward to watch. But anyways, let's move on from that and actually talk about the good things or the things that happened off this presentation. I mean, I gotta say, even that trailer was 10 times better than the stuff that we got from the one hour reveal trailer not too long ago. Battlefield 5 is going to be epic. But I have to be honest, most of the stuff shown here I already knew of because I watched YouTubers like Angry Joe and Jack Frags who got the inside scoop and talked about a lot of the supposed changes Battlefield 5 is going to be bring to the franchise. But it was really nice to see these changes firsthand or at least in a trailer form. I know there's going to be gameplay from these YouTubers coming out because they will have hands-on experience from E3. So I will leave links down below to coverage that I'm going to be looking out for so I can see actual gameplay. But this is Battlefield. Everything I love about the franchise is here and it's tweaked and changed up enough that I'm very excited to see this iteration of the franchise. The only thing to note here is that they announced they were going to do a battle royale mode. That's it. <laughs> I mean, the announcement was literally the devs coming up and be like, we have royale and it's going to be battlefield. Um, okay, I guess. So in terms of that announcement, I'm neither angry nor hyped because there's nothing to get hyped or angry about. All I can say is that I'm actually excited that the game I like going back to time and time again is still there to its fullest. War stories, good multiplayer, squad gameplay, and that's really what I'm excited for. Moving on from that, of course, this being EA, there has to be talk about their sports games. I, for one, am not a particular sports game fanatic, so I didn't care through any of these presentations. So I snoozed right on by. But even as I was paying attention, I felt like these were presentations that they didn't give any, any substance to it. For FIFA, they announced, oh, they're adding Champions League, which is cool. But they kept talking about how they changed the gameplay, changed the gameplay, then decided not to show any of that. And same thing with Madden and their basketball presentations. Like, what was the point of even showcasing this if they're not going to talk about at least some of the game? Underwhelming. 
is something I'm going to be saying a lot throughout this video. Equally as boring and underwhelming <laughs> was, of course, the Star Wars portion of the presentation. Unlike sports, though, I actually love and enjoy Star Wars, so I've been kind of disappointed with what they've been doing over the years with this license. Battlefront, for one, has been a series that I have not jumped into at all. Each time I've played the betas for each game, I've been turned off completely for the game and I, and I decided I wouldn't support this game with my money. And all this presentation did is more of, hey I know we messed up Battlefront 2, here's how we're fixing it, please don't hate us, keep supporting our game, yay. And then they tacked on this weird segment talking to someone from Respawn for a game coming out in 2019. The Fallen Order. And if you want to know what it's about or anything, that's all you're getting. It's coming out in 2019. Not even a trailer, not even like a glimpse of what's going on with this game. Nothing. Just word of mouth. Why include that? That is worthless. But everything EA is not all doom and gloom and underwhelming. There was some stuff in this presentation that I actually enjoyed and I'm excited about. For one, the EA Originals program, I think, is making good strides in keeping indie devs in the forefront. Once again, just like last year with A Way Out, they showcased some really cool indie titles, Sea of Solitude and Unravel 2. The direction and the creative minds behind these studios is something I'm excited to experience for myself. Both games look very stunning and beautiful. I like what they're doing to change up the usual grind of what is out there. So I think I have to commend EA on that. And I think everyone in the community agrees too. Definitely on my Twitter feed, that's all I saw was Sea of Solitude and Unravel 2 and how they were getting praised, so it can't be all bad. And we just gotta hope for the best and hope they continue pushing out good indie titles like they are doing. In the service department, they made some interesting announcements. One, they announced EA Access Premiere, which is like a Xbox version of Game Pass. Get games early, get games first. And I think this is going to be a PC only thing. I'm not entirely too sure. I would have to read up on it. But based on the presentation, that's what it seemed. Obviously, it's in its infant stages. So we have to wait and see what they're going to do with it. But for EA fans or loyals, do you have that? But the other thing that they announced was something that I'm interested in is what they're doing with EA Cloud Gaming or whatever they're going to call it. Essentially, their initiative is trying to get all their games to be able to be played anywhere. Laptop, game console, PC, phone, and they actually have a demo of that at A3. So I will probably be looking out to see if any YouTubers cover that because that is what I'm interested in. And we're going to see if this is the direction that maybe the industry is going to go to. And of course, they ended their presentation with the biggest gun they had, and that was Anthem. With a panel of studio heads and devs at ready and showing us some gameplay, the presentation at least ended on somewhat a high note. The game looks good, the answers that they gave over some very controversial topics seemed good, but I think I'm more nervous about this game now than I was last year. There are still huge questions if this game is going to be able to pull off their story like they said they're going to, or if they're going to have good enriching endgame content. I mean, this could easily fall to be another Destiny, and that would be very bad. This genre is a bit of a mess, so we gotta wait and see and hope they get the rhythm right, because this type of game can only be attempted so much before people are just fed up and not going to give this game a shot. So we're just going to have to wait and see. I mean, it looks promising. I can tell you that much. Overall, the presentation was underwhelming. I'm honestly questioning why EA even put this presentation together and what were their goals out of it. It seemed like this was just a big sorry we won't mess up again type presentation versus a presentation showcasing what they got in store for us the gamers. I would talk about how they plan on not including loot boxes or premiere passes in their games anymore, but I'm very unsure of how they're going to replace that with. I mean sure it's good that they're not going to have these crappy systems in their games anymore, but it's not going to be that good if they replace it with something even shittier. So I'm going to be cautiously optimistic. Here's to hoping that this is the weakest of the showings because honestly this was a depressing thing to watch. I could tell you I could tell you. I could tell you.
And that pretty much is it. Thank you for watching this video and listening to my recap of EA's 2018 E3 conference. Now it is time I turn it over to you. What do you think about this? Did it do enough to repair the emotions towards EA? And what games are you excited about that were talked about here? Leave this and more in the comment section down below and let's get perspective. As always, if you like this video, please hit that like button and share with your friends. There's more E3 to cover, so stay tuned this week for my recaps on all the major presentations and conferences. So please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications so you won't miss out. If there's anything you want me to deep dive in a separate video, please follow me on Twitter and shoot me a tweet to let me know what you want me to talk about. Twitter is the best way you can find out what I'm working on and when my videos are coming out. This is Perspective Gaming, I'm your host Flame070. Logging off for now, and until next time, adios.